Hi, I'm Nathan Jones. Today's show is one for all of you whitetail freaks. We're hunting in the northwest corner of North Dakota. We rolled in from Canada and got one day of hardcore scouting in, and the next day the slamming began in earnest. We will also take a look at the new Martin Bengal and how it's made. And you know what? The Martin Bengal might just be your next bow. The show today is definitely extreme. This is Martin Archery's Wild Extreme. Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Volunteer Cabin Rentals in Chateau Bearden. Now you have a second home. With your host, Nathan Jones. and also brought to you in part by these other great companies the Kankakee Marsh Hunt Club Grim Reaper Broadhead Carbon Tech Arrows and Kicking Bear One-on-One -on -one. We've had a lot of action. This segment of Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Volunteer Cabin Rentals and Chateau Baird. Now you have a second home. Look at this thing. Look at the base. Good lord. A very lucky hunter had taken this buck just two days before the crew rolled in to hunt with Diamond J Outfitters. What a smoker buck. As Scott Flandeland and I overlooked the draw I would scout and hang my stands in, I could see why they hailed good deer. Diamond J Outfitters is located in the northwest corner of North Dakota and in my opinion is a sleeper as far as big white tails go. Check this out. He's got nice mass. Well, he does have nice mass. He'd be nicer this year. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a nice, nice shed. Well, Randy's got us in here, guys, and uh, he has got a tremendous spot for us to hunt up here. I'm going to hang this set. Randy's trimming me a shooting lane. We're going to get it done here. I have a somewhat aggressive style of deer hunting. I call it moving to the movement. I don't just hang on the outskirts of the hub of deer activity hoping that I get lucky, but instead take the action directly to the deer. And in most cases, this means cutting brush. I want all of my shooting lanes open so that no matter what direction a buck approaches from, if he's the one I want, I can draw my Martin Slayer with confidence and finish the game. I have been asked, aren't you worried about the smell of fresh sawdust? The way I view it is. Sawdust occurs daily in the woods and is a familiar smell. What would you guys do to kill a boomer? Everything from woodpeckers looking for insects to bucks making rubs creates sawdust. So at this point, I'm just another animal making a living in the forest. Well, here's the first morning here at uh, North Dakota. This is in November. These big bucks are trying to find that last receptive doe. So uh, later on in the day, we don't get anything moving through early morning here. Any shooters, we're definitely gonna bang the horns. So um, let's see what happens. My cameraman and I now set in the draw that Scott Flandelan and I overlooked just the morning before. And from where I sat, it looked awesome. 
almost immediately, we had something moving in the draw, and I received my first shot of adrenaline for the day. Upon closer examination, the movement turned out to be a mule deer doe, but that just ramped me up. Today was going to be a great day to be in the tree. Once she fed past our location, it was time for me to start making some noise. I had hardly put my grunt tube back in my vest when I spotted legs in the brush. Legs that were heading my way. I wasted no time picking up my Slayer Extreme. Yeah, he's, he's gonna be right here. Oh, that's a good buck. But he's not a shooter here. It's a nice eight pointer though. So my Martin Slayer was hung back up but I felt positive that there would be an impending encounter with an older buck. It's a cold here. At this time, little did I realize that my slayer wouldn't hang long before it would be right back in my hand. I always find it way cool when I dupe a buck like this. I do love the white-tailed deer and revel in every close encounter such as this. What an experience. It's truly not just about the killing. This young buck was positive he had heard two bucks mixing it up and was not about to leave the area. In fact, he made a couple passes by our tree before his curiosity was sated and he moved off in search of does. This segment of Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. Martin Archery is located in Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla is a friendly city with beautiful architecture that comes with a laid-back lifestyle, but is still vested in a rich and progressive culture. Martin Archery has always produced bows that are cutting edge, both in performance and design, and over the years have assembled quite a collection of felines. But now, there's a new cat in town. We're going to take a look at how Martin's newest bow, the Beagle, is made. That does up one top, up two top, middle top, up two. The Martin Bingle starts its life as a solid block of aluminum and its initial shape appears once that block of aluminum is locked securely in the CNC machine. From there, 
It's just a short trip across the shop to the tumbler, where any sharp edges left from cutting the riser are rounded off, and then, in the true Martin Archery fashion that they extend to all of their bows, the bow riser receives individual hands-on attention from a Martin craftsman. The end result is the sleek new Bengal riser, ready to be dipped and assembled. What you are now witnessing is the birth of a bow with high performance features at a retail price all can afford. The Bingle is just one more example of how Martin Archery became the consummate leader in the archery industry. Now everyone can afford to shoot a bow which sports high performance features. Once the risers have been dipped in camouflage and the laminated Corflex limbs bolted in place, the next step is to install the idler wheel and the M-Pro single cam, which will provide the path that the Martin double helix bowstrings and cables will travel on, providing the shooter with the unparalleled accuracy and speed that Martin bows are famous for. Once strings and cables are in place, the next step is to install the Limb Saver String Silencers and then tighten the limb bolts to firmly seat the Coreflex limbs into their limb pockets. Next. The vibration escape modules, or VEMs as they're called, are slipped into the riser to ensure the bingle of its stealthy, silent nature upon its release. After the bow is tested, it is then passed on down the line, where a final tech is waiting to give the bingle its own identity. This is the last step in a lengthy process for the bingle, before it's wrapped in plastic, boxed, and headed to a pro shop near you. I have a feeling that you could possibly be looking at your next bow. This segment of Martin Archery's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Earlier in the hunt, I had an encounter with a buck that was just a year or two away from being a shooter here at Diamond J Outfitters. So I chose to let him walk, and once he was out of sight, got back on the horns to see what else I could rattle up. There's a buck, there's a buck right there. That, that's a good one, that's a good one. This buck was making a beeline for my tree as he looked for the source of the rattle. He was packing mass and width, which spoke of his age, so this cool deer was not going to get a pass. I got ready to draw my Martin Slayer Extreme. This buck was positive he had heard two other bucks going at it and was hoping a hot doe was a catalyst of the confrontation. Now remember all of the brush Randy and I cleared at the start of the show? The cleared shooting lanes were now just about to pay off.
We have done it again on a monster here in North Dakota. <laughs> yes! That is a good buck. Oh my goodness. Thing is big and heavy. Come up, we come in here with Randy last night, set these stands. What a great setup, guys. Right here in North Dakota. And I'm all jacked up. <laughs> you believe that? Our first day here in North Dakota. What a great deer. And I just kind of looked up in the brush and here come this great big deer just trolling through, turned. 10 yards, right under our feet. Randy Scott, thank you guys, man. You guys, I, and I've heard about this place forever, forever. And uh, they've got some great deer here. And uh, my buddy Al Coon and uh, his cousin Johnny Burchill. Johnny's hunted here for uh, six years now. He's killed four great deer in here. They kept going, Nathan, you've got to go hunt with these guys. And here we did the first morning. And that is a great deer, man. A great mature buck, big heavy time. I, <laughs> it's cool, man. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna. I saw him go down. I mean, he was he was trying to stay on his feet and couldn't do it. And uh, that deer hit, that Grim Reaper hit him and tore him up. So, uh, <laughs> oh, I love this whitetail hunting. There is nothing better in the world. Nothing better. How cool is that? A great big mature buck right here in North Dakota. Well, once again. It's time to lower my slayer out of the tree. Whether you guys are tired of hearing it or not, I'll say it again. It is an awesome feeling when I can, at 10 o'clock in the morning, drop my slayer out of the tree. Because this time of year, if the slayer doesn't go off we sit in the tree till dark where this buck was standing right here and uh, ran up through here oh yeah Grim Reaper definitely definitely did its job well, I could see the buck really struggling to stay on his feet even in here and uh, man what what a blood trail what a blood trail we still got good blood here boy he's got to be running out he's got to be running out of it boy it's just blowing out of him guys right up over right up here oh there he is oh good lord oh my goodness is that a good deer oh my what a big old buck what a big old buck look at this look at the mass on him Holy cow. Good heavens. Look at the mass on this North Dakota deer. Good heavens. What a beautiful deer, guys. What a beautiful deer. Well, guys, I can't thank Scott Flandlin and uh, Randy Getzloff enough, man. Look at the mass on this great deer come into North Dakota and set up and had this great great deer come right into the right into the stand and uh, man I couldn't be prouder of this deer what a fantastic deer hey thanks for being with me once again as you guys witnessed my blood pressure skyrocket clear through the roof to book a hunt with Scott Flandland of Diamond J Outfitters just go to the website go to the Outfitters page where you can link directly to Diamond J Outfitters and while you're there, look around a bit. We've got tons of information about the television show and links to our other sponsors. Be here next time because the slamming will continue. 
Martin Archery's Wild Extremes has been brought to you by Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. Double Bow Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Volunteer Cabin Rentals and Chateau Bearden. Now you have a second home. And also in part by these other great companies, Grim Reaper Broadheads, the Kankakee Marsh Hunt Club, Carbon Tech Arrow, and Kicking Bear One-on-One. -on -one. Additional products have been provided by these companies. Man, we got us a monster. <laughs> this has been a Wild Serenade production.